Okay, I've done a little bit of uh, SWR testing on that wire. Now that wire is exactly 25 feet 10 inches long from one end, the far end, to the end of that alligator clip, okay? <clears throat> I'm using my single core FT12543 on on and it has nine taps and uh, I'm not going to point because the camera loses focus but starting at your counterclockwise tap the first one on the left there that's four to one then nine then sixteen to one twenty five to one is kinda hiding behind that zip tie the next one is thirty six to one the alligator clip is connected to 49 to 1, and the next one is 64 to 1, then 75 to 1. Uh, is that true? Yeah, 64 to 1. Um, I'll check. One moment. Okay, after the 64 to 1 tap, is my 81 to 1 tap and then the last one on the far right is a hundred to 1 okay you'll see I'm connected to the 49 to 1 tap the wire is an exact half wavelength long I'll be repeating this test tomorrow that antenna is five and a half to six feet high on the 17 meter band and tomorrow I'm going to be erecting it in a vertical fashion and I'll repeat the test to see if there's any difference. Um, okay, so I'm going to reposition the camera and, and point you toward my SWR analyzer and we'll see if we can find a resonance using the 49 to 1 tap. Hang on. Okay. I've turned the analyzer up to, what, 19.5 something megahertz. I'm going to go down. We'll slide through the 17 meter band and see if we can find a resonance using that 49 to 1 tap. Well, there we are in the 17 meter band. You'll note one thing. The impedance is extremely high, the Z is extremely high, the resistance is really high, but we're now able to read a standing wave ratio at least. Continuing down, things get better and better and better until we reach the true resonant frequency of this system. Now when I say system, I mean a wire cut to 25 feet 10 inches long and my multi-tap on it. There's the resonant frequency. Not the best match in the world. Now again, not to sound like a broken record, but the feature of these multi-tap on -uns is this. I'm not going to reposition the camera, it's pointless. I'm going to reach over and move this alligator clip from the 49 to 1 to the next one. To the 64 to 1 tap. Let's see if we can get a better match than that. Now I'm going back up in frequency and things got better, didn't they? Less reactive, the resistance is closer to 50 ohms. We're now looking at a standing wave ratio of 1.3 yet we're not in the 17 meter band nor will we ever be using this multi-tap on on and that length of wire using my multi-tap on on you do not use the classic 468 divided by frequency formula to get your antenna length you would use 401.4 divided by your frequency in megahertz to get the length in feet okay so anyway we're now on the 64 to 1 tap I'm going to reach over move it up to the next higher tab the 81 to 1 tap 
Now I'm going to adjust the analyzer. I think if I go up in frequency, yep, we get an even better match. Now then, we're very near the true resonant frequency of this system. As a matter of fact, this is the best match I can get. Period. Irregardless of the frequency. 15.8 megahertz. You can see the resistance. You can see the reactants. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. And so I can have the same match condition right now that I have right now um, in the 17 meter band by shortening the length of that wire to I'll show you that in a minute. Just for giggles, I'm going to reach over and move this alligator clip to the 100 to 1 tap. Let's see if I can get any better match than that. No, that got worse. The re Well, the reactants went away completely, but the resistance came up 10 ohms. If I were going to run it, I'm going to move it back from the 100 to 1 to the 81 to 1 tap. I'm going to retune things. There. 49 ohms. 50 ohms. Very low reactance. Nice. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to pause you. You'll see that the Yunnan is grounded. That black wire right there, that contains four really long counterpoise wires that are kind of slowly sinking into the soil. They're basically on the surface still, and one ground stake driven into the ground outside the window here. Okay, you saw the resonant frequency. Let me uh, disconnect it. I'm going to pause you. Hang on. There, let me retune. I keep wanting to look at the camera. Uh, <laughs> the lag causes me misery. So you can see, I disconnected that ground lead and uh, the match is arguably better um, with it connected, although it doesn't matter. You can run it either way. Resonant frequency changed very little, and so did the uh, resistance and impedance reactance settings. I'm going to reach over and reconnect it just for fun. And we'll retune. So with ground, without ground, do what you want, man. In my case, it doesn't make any difference at all. I made a video specifically on the topic and immediately started getting dislikes. It's amazing. <laughs> An honest experiment with honest results and I get dislikes. So, <laughs> do what you will, good people. You don't like it, thumbs down, by all means. Thumbs down. <laughs> Um, what else did I want to show you on this little experiment? Um, I'm, hang on, I'm going to reposition you one last time. Okay, I need something to point with. Okay, so this is the results I got um, with that wire in a horizontal configuration. Um, I've written down what you've heard me say, but I thought I would show this just so you can look at the number. If in my case with my multi tap autos, that's the number to use, not 468 when calculating my half wave length. It's not a half wave, it's 0.43 wavelengths long, but that's the number I use. 401.4 divided by frequency in megahertz gives me the length of the wire in feet. Okay. And if I use this formula, now that wire out there is 25 feet 10 inches. This here would be uh, the length to cut the wire to to move me right into the 17 meter band. And again, it's not a half wavelength long wire. In my case, with my multi tap onions, a half wavelength wire does me no good at all, it, it's useless. I need 0.43 wavelengths, which is 85.75% 
the length that you would normally cut your half wave dipole for. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. So these are my results and uh, <laughs> and uh, it's amazing and it's wonderful the things that I'm finding with my unions. Uh, <laughs> I'll report back after I get this wire um, per vertical in a vertical configuration and rerun the test 73 and be well. And I'm telling you, man, call someone on the phone to say hi, just to say you're thinking of them. Please, please do. 73.